Hey guys, today's video is going to be a huge hair tutorial. I promised a lot of you in the comment section of a lot of my previous videos that I would film a hair tutorial for that particular video, but the thing is, is I kept doing hairstyles for all of my recent videos, not all of them, but a lot of them. I would try and do something like more than just this and you guys would request for that hairstyle. So then it started adding up and I'm like, oh crap, now I really need to film a lot of hairstyles. Let me just put them all into one video. So that's what I'm doing today. There's, I think, five different styles that I'm going to show you guys how to do. So to get started, I have hair extensions in my hair already. They're tape and extensions. I just have a few of them to help give a little bit more hair because my hair is very thin. I used clip-in extensions too. So I have two different ones. These are the Luxie Hair Seamless Blonde Balayage. And then for the curled hair, I use these. They're also Luxie Hair extensions. They're in chestnut brown to dirty blonde. I do have a coupon code. It is Lexi K. If you guys want to save some money, if you decide to order some of these, I 100% recommend them to you guys. I've tried hair, ex like so many <laughs> clip-in hair extensions, and these by far have lasted me the longest, which is why I wear them in like almost every single video. <laughs> and I like the option of having two different shades to play around with, just to kind of switch things up a bit. Anyway, I just wanted to touch on that really quick because you don't, you don't need hair extensions, but I feel like it really does just glam up the hairstyle and just make it so perfect. Um, if it's not your thing, that's totally cool because guess what? You don't need them. You can do this without them. Totally up to you. So the first hairstyle that I'm going to be doing is the one that I wore in my Urban Decay review of their new palette, which I'm still loving by the way. And in that video, I'm going to link it up above for you guys. In that video, I had worn two buns, like space buns, on the, like, kind of the back side of my head. One here, one here. And then the rest of my hair was straight. So what I'm doing right now is just straightening these little baby hairs near my face because they love to curl up on me, especially when I take a shower. And even if I wear a cap, still, somehow the moisture in the air just gets under the cap and <laughs> into my little baby hairs and I can't stand it, but whatever, it happens. Oh, by the way, I'm totally gonna be doing more curly hairstyles. I need to embrace my curly hair. I realize this, guys, I know. You know, everyone hates their hair. Everyone's like wanting something different than what they actually have, you know? But I know that you guys want more curly hair tutorials, so I'm gonna give them to you, but not today. <laughs> Not, not in this video, but definitely in the near future. And I forgot to say that this is a GHD straightener. This is just the original one. I love it. It gets the job done. I've used it for years. Like literally, I think I bought this when I was in high school and it's still going. So that's pretty impressive. And then I'm going to brush out my hair extensions like this. I'm just using a wet brush, but honestly any paddle brush will do just fine. And I'm going to run my straightener down this as well just because I had curled it in one of my previous videos that I recorded earlier this week so I'm just gonna do this really fast and get that curl out. Hair extensions are straight and nice and brushed through so this is perfect. Then what I do is I use these clips right here these are from Tony and Guy I ordered them on Amazon and all I do is section it out. So this is the bottom section here that I clip in a three clip weft. You don't want to make that bottom section too thick because then when you pull it forward there's going to be a lot of short pieces near your neck. So I always try and keep it kind of on the lower side. And then this goes around like the biggest part of my head. Like right in the middle. And then this is where I use my clips. Bam, we got two four clips, look like this. And what I do is I make sure that the hair is over my ear here. And then, oh, I forgot. So I'm not clipping these in like I usually do. Since we're doing this hairstyle today, I'm gonna keep these kind of like back 
here behind my ear and then same over here make sure that the hair is over the ear I like to do my own hair over my ear because otherwise if this comes first then it just looks really unnatural I like my own hair to come first and then it blends in with the extension so again I'm just making sure to clip this in behind the ear all right and then I basically just clipped it literally over the other one so when you pull it forward it looks like that I think that's all I put in I might have put in another one in the back but I don't think I did okay so now I'm gonna do the little space buns on the top of my head but first we're gonna do a little teasing on this crown section here so I'm just gonna pull it up it's like literally that much which is kind of like my like all of my hair honestly because I have no hair <laughs> um, and I'm just back combing it down using my wet brush again this thing is so nice because you can use it for so many different things. Um, and then I just use my hand to kind of like fluff it out. Just a little bit of teasing here too near the root on both sides and fluff it out. And just give my hair a little bit of vo volume. <laughs> that should be a new word, volume. A little bit of volume and kind of grit and texture. By the way, you don't want to do any of these hairstyles on first day hair. Definitely do not because your hair is going to be too fine and too, um, what's the word, just like silky smooth and it's going to be really hard to braid or to put into any sort of bun or updo. Before I do any hairstyle, I either use a dry shampoo or a hairspray that's like lightweight, nothing too strong hold. This is the Batiste dry shampoo that I really like and I'm just going to spray this in. I'm not doing it like perfect or anything. I'm just trying to like get it right there in the roots. Kind of massage it in. So now I'll be able to get a lot more height with my uh, buns. Okay, now I remember what I did. <laughs> I had used these two here since I don't know where my one clips went. I seem to only have two two clips. So what I did was I just folded it like this and then clipped one to the other so that this is the only thing that's left out. And then I used it to help make my space button because, let me throw you guys up here, because um, I just, like, how am I gonna make a bun with this? Like, are you kidding me? This is like one strand of hair. So when I do my bun, it's gonna be kind of like, like that, and then it's gonna go into a bun instead of like this, you know what I'm saying? Because then my hair extension is going to show. So I'm going to clip this. I'm going to split my hair in half in the middle somewhere. Right, right, right there. Yep, so you can't see that. Perfect. And now I'm going to take that up into my whole thing. Perfect. And now what I'm going to do is start twisting this really tight away from my face. And as I twist it, I'm going to wrap it around itself. But as I wrap it around, I just keep wrapping the bottom. So it gets taller and taller because I'm creating layers on the bottom. that and then I'm going to use my hair tie to hold it in place I'm gonna pull it down and to the side a bit and pull out my hair in the front so it's not like so close to my head I can play around with it. So there's one down. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I'm thinking you were made for me. It's in my birthday yet, yeah, because I gotta say, you're looking like a gift for me.
times for them to both look even and somewhat identical <laughs> it takes a little bit of time this isn't the easiest but it's definitely really cute and I don't think anyone's really truly looking at it and analyzing if it's in the same spot on either side of your head and how big are both the buns really the only person who is gonna notice that kind of stuff is yourself so don't give yourself a hard time and you know just play around with it this is a fun hairstyle totally like you know with the festivals coming up for spring this is a really cute really really cute look to do okay so look number two is straight hair also oh I turned off my straightener I'm so mad that's okay coffee break I love it like I'm just gonna already start using it and watch you'll hear it beep any second now one two Three. I, <laughs> almost, I almost got it. Matt and I like to do that with the oven. We try and guess when it's gonna beep, when it's ready. And sometimes we get it like spot on. It's kind of creepy actually. So now what I'm gonna do for this next hairstyle is clip these in. Right where I usually would, the two straight ones. Mmm, no, it's a little bit too close to the hairline. Take a little bit farther back, like that. And same with this one. Okay, we're going to create a braid. We're gonna start like about here. Split it into three, and then we're gonna just do it under, under the middle, pull it tight, grab some hair, under the middle, grab hair from this top area here and add it to that one end, under the middle, and every time you do it, like pull that braid tight, you know, you want to pull it. And then add some hair, oh, yep, to that side. Under the middle. Okay, so now I'm going to start grabbing my hair and the extension hair. But now I'm going to start kind of trying to direct it backwards. And I think I might pull just like a little bit more into this piece here. Under the middle. Yeah, I don't want to pull too much because I, I want this little piece near my ear still. And then I'm going to go ahead and pull again with my hair and some of the extension. And go under the middle. I'm just gonna take this one under the middle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not gonna grab anymore. <laughs> and then again, I'm gonna take some more from back here and my extension. Under the middle. And I think we're gonna be... We'll do one more. One more. Okay, now we're good. And just keep remembering to pull it tight. Don't bring up any more hair because then it's gonna be weird and it's gonna attach to this like one plate of your braid and just look really goofy. And I braided this all the way down. Okay, honestly, I'm kind of surprised I got that right on the first try. 
the first time I did this hairstyle for that video, which this one I wore in my Black Moon Cosmetics um, review of their palette. If you guys want to check it out, I'll put it up there. You know, there. But yeah, the first time I did this hairstyle, I like totally had to redo it both sides like 10 times. I'm like, this is so hard. But now I kind of got it. Kinda. <laughs> not a professional but I try to I like to think I am so then I'm just gonna kind of loosen this braid up not too much I kind of liked it just to look really tight I don't think I pulled it out too much but yeah I just kind of wiggle it a little bit oh what's going on there there we go and after I wiggle it then if I want it any bigger, what I'll do is I'll kind of like hold down the braid on one side and then just pinch like literally the very outer edge of the plate and pull it out. Not the whole thing, just like the little tiny hairs on the very outer edge of the plate. You just want to pull those out. Leave the inside hairs alone. Don't touch those. That's why, or that's how you end up having your entire braid come loose and then you have to redo it all over again. So I think that looks pretty good there. I might pull this out a little to cover my extension here. And then what I did, it's kind of weird, but I actually wanted this to be forward more so that when I was talking straight onto the camera, it kind of like came out like a little fin. So, I mean, you don't have to do this, but I did it for the video and I just want to be honest with you guys, this is what I did. I took some bobby pins, let me just pull it out a little bit more, and I push this forward like that, and then in the back here, I just literally pinned it in. <laughs> So it kind of sticks out a little bit more and it's not so flat to the head. I feel like this video is going to be like 40 minutes long. Maybe I should not explain it so much. I don't know. Okay. Same thing on the side. I'm going to fast forward. You could be the first and the second and the third and the rest of Baby, I will show you how you can catch my vibe And right away I saw much time Looping in the blurry lights Get in my way now, don't be shy We'll be here dancing day and night Get in my groove now, don't be shy Cause I got the system, my favorite things You could be the part where it all begins So this is hairstyle number two All finished and I definitely say this is more on the unique side. It's very different and totally going to catch attention. People are going to ask you, how in the heck did you do that? It just kind of gives me like darker vibes. For some reason, I love to wear this type of hairstyle with a dark lip and like a just like a really like dark kind of gothy makeup look. Um, and yeah, you don't have to wear your hair on the front. You could always throw it to the back too. And it almost gives you like like a halo braid kind of effect, but instead of it actually like being a halo braid. So it looks really cool from a lot of different angles, actually. I love this one. Hopefully you guys do too. That is look number two. So let's move on to look number three. You could be the first and the second and the third and the rest of
I am going to recreate what I wore in my February favorites video and you guys really like that hairstyle it was requested a lot and I think because it's just so simple and easy and it looks like an everyday type of hairstyle that anybody can wear and no you don't need extensions for it but I did clip in these Lexi hair extensions in chestnut brown to dirty blonde just to give my hair some more volume and dimension and I curled my hair with this Numi Lustrum. I will link this down below. It is my favorite for getting just like really tight but not super defined curls. Like the bigger the wand I feel the harder it is for my hair to hold it throughout the day but when I use this my hair holds the curl really well and by the end of the day it just kind of looks like effortless effortless curls then all you do is you start with your bang section and you just start twisting it pick up some more hair underneath and twist pick up some hair underneath add it and twist more hair add it and twist and I think that's all I'm gonna take from the Front. So now I'm going to start taking like from back here, which is actually up here, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Adding that and twisting. I'll do one more. Add that in and twist. Ah, we'll end there. You don't want to like continue twisting and then be like, I actually want another one. And then it's like, it ends up looking like that. So we're just going to continue twisting. So then you just want to hold here. You don't have to twist it all the way down to the bottom, just enough so that you can reach it back here after we've already pulled it out. So you don't want to do it too short, thinking like, oh, you know, I'll be fine. I'll just pull it back here because then once you pull it all out, it won't be long enough. So I'd say do it like that far. <laughs> I'm going to start kind of like molding this. Like I hate when my bangs are like this. I like them to be down a lot more. So I'm just kind of like, pulling it down like this with my fingers and then it like wraps itself back up you know but it like loosens every time so you just pull and then I'm going to pull my bangs out a little bit too like that it's looking good make sure this looks smooth here and then you just very carefully pin it in the back there and I'm just gonna do like a crisscross in the back I notice when I do the crisscross and you cross the bobby pins over like this in the back it never moves so there we go there's one side for this one I am gonna spray some hairspray just really lightly because I have a lot of like little tiny flyaways in the very front part of my bangs and this is just the Joyco Humidity Blocker. Really good, because it's a very fine, very fine mist. And same thing for the other side. You just take your bangs, like that much of your bangs, twist, pick up underneath it, like literally right near the hairline, twist. And you don't want to pick up too big of sections either. Just maybe like an inch to half an inch. too much hair up you can always just grab and then just gently pull it out of the twist it'll come out you just have to pull very gently and that is look number four I think we're on number four right so it's just little twists back and um, the hair curled I think for my video that I had did my hair wasn't this curled but that is basically the gist of what I did so let's go ahead and move on to 
Was that look number three? <laughs> I think it was. That was look number three, not number four, I'm sorry. And if you guys have made it this far, please leave a thumbs up. I would really appreciate that because I have been sitting here filming trying to do these uh, hair tutorials for a very long time now. It has been like a long, a long time. <laughs> so I would appreciate it if you guys could give me a thumbs up down below so I know that you want more of these type of videos. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into look number four. All right, so this is a French braid that we're doing, but I did have um, my bangs in it, although they might they might fall out as I'm doing this braid just because They're shorter and I think what I did was I actually just sprayed them back in so if they fall out No big deal, but you want to take basically like this whole entire top section of hair here like from your eye back because we're not going to be picking up any other pieces as we're braiding down, which is why I like to put in my extensions for this look so that I can have a lot of hair here and also a lot of hair for the braid. So I'm just going to pop my finger through and bring that to the middle. See if I can try and keep my bangs in there. Okay. Poke my thumb through. And put that into the middle it's just like your basic French braid you guys know how to do this and just do it over and over again until you get all the way down to the bottom and I think the reason why it ended up looking so cool is because I was not meticulous with exactly how much hair I was bringing from one side to the other like sometimes I would take thick sections sometimes thinner it's just all random like no big deal, no stress, just do it. <laughs> like actually I think the faster you try to go, the messier it'll end up looking and that's what I really liked about this hairstyle when I did it. So it's gonna look really tight at first, but we're going to pull the crap out of it so it will not look anything like this in the end. Get in my groove now, don't be shy. with a clear elastic let your hands work some magic be really random with it you know what I mean just like pull it everywhere every which way pull on the insides pull on the outside wiggle it out like that I mean that's what I did I just was <laughs> kind of mean to my hair I feel like I'm being mean to it just pulling it every which way but that's what I did. And then I kind of like adjusted my bangs. Made sure they weren't too high up there. I think that's about where I had them. There we go. There's one done. <laughs> and same thing on this side. We're just going to go ahead and fast forward. You could be the one I trust. this is kind of like a technique I'm doing and I'm noticing now I'm grabbing the ends and then going up down up down So it looks like really, really messy and kind of like frizzy almost. I just like it like that because the rest of the hair is so, you know, polished and then you have your like crazy ass looking braid <laughs> and it's just like a cool combination. This was definitely my most highly, highly requested look. 
from you guys. I wore this in my March favorites video. So I will link that up here if you guys have not seen it yet. Also, don't forget, don't forget the top part of your head. You don't want it to be glued down to your uh, head. <laughs> what did I even just say? I don't even know. We're getting delusional at this point. This is too many hairstyles in one video. <laughs> All right, gonna spray my bangs in place. And I think we're done. That is look number four, guys. I think this is one of my favorite ones for sure. It's so cool. So for this last look, we're gonna do a ponytail. And when you do a ponytail, you have to clip in your extensions a little bit differently. You have to actually reverse them, flip them upside down. And it's gonna look really weird when you put them in, but because we're pulling all of the hair up instead of the hair laying down, it just lays better. It'll make sense when I show you guys in just a second. I'm just trying to get them all out of my head at the moment. There's so many of them. Oh, that's why it was so hard to get out. Because I have a mysterious bobby pin again. I have them all over my floor now. This is going to be very fun to clean up. Oh! <laughs> Alright, battery's dying. Let's see, let's see if we can get this done, guys. So, when I'm doing my ponytail, what you want to do is... Start, I'm like, what do I do with this ponytail? Okay. Um, start at the bottom here and pin in your three clip left. So I'm not bringing it as far down as I usually do. Like you saw what I first, is that? I'm fine, okay. <laughs> um, when I very first put my hair extensions in, you guys saw I actually had like way more hair up. Actually, probably more than that. So this is almost about like halfway, actually. <laughs> Um, and I'm going to put the three clip left in and the reason you want so much hair, Jesus, I'm bald. The reason you want so much hair to still be down here is because when you pull your hair up into a ponytail, you don't want the weft to be shown. And I'm also doing a three clip instead of a four clip because the four clip is too long. I need something short enough back there that it won't go past my ears. So what I'm going to do is flip this upside down and pin it in like that. So of course, you know, line the middle up. And then do the other two. And oh, I forgot to say, when you do these other two, don't put them too close to this edge here because then when you pull your hair up, it's just not gonna lay right. You wanna clip it closer up here than down here. So we got that one in. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna pin another one in right above that, like pretty close to that one. This is gonna be a four clip one because this area of my head is much larger and I have a lot more hair here that I can pull up over the ponytail. Again, we're gonna clip this in upside down and the easiest way to do this is to grab like one of the middle clips and then put that right in the middle of your head. And then I'm gonna do one more except this time and this is also going to go like really close to that other one. But this time I'm actually going to do the clip the regular way. My two two clip wefts just because I don't have three. Like I don't have a three clip weft. Um, and I'm just going to pin these in right side up like that. And that's because th this is like about where my ponytail is going to end up being. And again, you don't want any clips around this area here which is why this piece of tape-in kind of sucks being there. I need to tell Catherine next time to put it somewhere else, but luckily it is grown out enough to where I can actually pull it up like this, and then I have all this other hair here, so you won't see it. But if you ever do get tape-ins, try and ask them to angle this like that instead of putting it straight in. I just forgot to remind her this time, this time around, but she did it last time. And then I'm just going to... Do a little zhuzhing on this root area here. Why does that look kind of good though? <laughs> For my ponytails, I like to use this. It's like a really, th well not really, but it's one of the thicker rubber bands. And the reason I like this is because it's very sturdy and not like flimsy like those thin ones. Let me show you, I have a thin one here. You see, whoa, everything just fell. You see the difference? This is like flimsy and it won't hold up your ponytail. 
This one will though. You tie it around three times, your ponytail is not going to move at all. And you can actually like really pull it so you can give yourself like a facelift too. It's amazing. I love this. I will link it below too. So what I'm going to do is start pulling my hair up. And when I do this, I like to start with my bangs first and then I'll work my way down to this back here. So bangs first. And I'm just really loosely combing through. And this is about where I want my ponytail to be. So from here on, I'm going to keep just dragging hair up loosely to my hand up here. Because I know that's where I want my ponytail to be. Make sure that I have no wefts showing. And kind of fix up my bangs. I'm gonna spray my hair because, wow, I have these like little flyaways that are not helping me. All right, I think that's about good there. So I'm going to start wrapping this around. And I'm going to do it three times, like I said, so it's super, super tight. Whew! Well, that is a tight-ass ponytail. I take these sections up here and I pull them forward. And that'll instantly lift your ponytail up. And then I take the ones out here and I pull them outwards like this. Do some adjusting, and then what I do is pull out my hairs, just like random, make them higher than others, just to like get it looking a little messier. I don't like it to be so flat to my head. Then what I do is I lift my ponytail up, and from this back area here, I pull it out. And what that's gonna do is just like give a platform for your ponytail to sit on so it looks even wider. Or not necessarily wider. Like that. So you can see when I let it down now, it has somewhere to go. So then it just makes it look even bigger. I think when you do your ponytail like this, it looks really good with hoop earrings. Dude, why can't I ever get this one in? <laughs> oh my god, this one is always so hard to get in. Why? Alright guys, so that is it for look number five. If you guys like this video, I would really appreciate it if you could leave a thumbs up down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Let me know what you guys want to see next, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!